All right, all you Bachelor fans, this season has had its share of ups and downs. On top of having some of the most toxic contestants ever this season, I'm looking at you, Victoria and MJ. Matt himself has been pretty meh, and the show's ratings appear to back that up. If you don't want to hear about any upcoming spoilers, please stop watching now. But if you clicked on this video, you probably want to know what's going on with Matt and the ladies. So here we go. When we all get to watch the final rose ceremony on our screens, we will see Matt ask Rachel to date. There won't be any engagement, but an agreement to continue to pursue things and date off the show. None of us at the Fab Life think Matt is actually ready for a serious relationship. And then last month, when we started to hear about Rachel's racist past, we had a feeling things would be over soon between these two. After all, it's already hard enough for bachelor couples to make it once the show is over. Now, if you take into consideration, Rachel's only 24 years old and claims she's never been in love before. Matt is 29. Watching the season, we never really get a sense that Matt was actually looking for his wife and was ready to get married now. The vibe that we got was Matt was down to date, but not to settle down. Then these two had to work through the recent racist scandal and that's just going to make things even tougher for these two. When you're trying to find love on reality TV, you have to take all the baggage that comes along with it. And that includes the audience either rooting for the two of you to make it or swearing up and down that the two of you are doomed. Hey, it comes along with the territory of reality TV dating. So just think about how hard it is to make it as a couple in this franchise when everything is great and America loves you. Matt and Rachel don't have much support publicly, they're living through a big scandal, and they can't even address it publicly for another month. It was going to be real tough for these two to make it in the long run, and everything we're hearing from sources say these two have now broken up. It seems to be a pretty recent breakup, but apparently Matt is ready to move on. He's been rumored to be hanging out with another contestant, Heather Martin. That's right, Heather, as you may recall, was the one who showed up mid-season for a shot with Matt, only to be sent home and to get a lot of hate from the other women. Heather was even at the Women Tell All special, but you wouldn't know it as producers never showed her on screen and Heather was never spoken to or allowed to speak. Why all the hate on Heather, Basher producers? Could it be because they know she's dating Matt now? It would make total sense. Fans have also noticed that Matt, who lives in New York, has been posting recent Instagram stories from the same California town as Heather. So it's like they're low-key confirming they're together, but apparently using the same trick as Claire and Dale. Why would Matt and Heather both be in California in the same town at the same time? It's so suspicious. And their only reason would be because they're dating. Also, Matt's mother has been leaving messages on Heather's Instagram posts. And we all know when your man's mother is all over your Instagram, it's usually because you're with her son. Why else would Matt's mother care for Heather? I mean, Bachelor producers apparently don't. Of course, Matt and Heather aren't making any public comments, and we suspect they won't be until the show wraps up and Matt is free from his contract obligations. So what do you think, Bachelor Nation? Is Heather the one for Matt? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.